Hey Sagittarius, I hope you're doing well. Uh, this is going to be your general weekly reading. Any information you need, you can find it down below in the description box. Um, you're more than welcome to check out my second channel if you'd like. It's not a tarot channel, I'm just kind of talking over there. But uh, yeah, the link is down below if you'd like to check that out here. Alright. The overall energy here is the Eight of Wands. I feel like you're throwing things out and seeing what's going to stick in a situation here. Um, or you're throwing things out and you want them to stick. That's the energy I get there. There could be a lot of messages coming in. There could be some movement here, some travel. Unexpected errands, unexpected... Um, yeah, think that, like just things you have to do here. I feel like they involve physical travel, but... For others of you, like I said, I feel like you're throwing things out there, trying to see what's going to stick. Um, I, I feel like you're throwing the arrows at someone here. Okay, you've got the uh, Eight of Cups showing up, Saturn and Pisces. What's going on with that Eight of Cups? Um, I do feel like for some of you, there could be a Gemini or an Aries here. I've got Taurus and Libra as well. I'm watching you turn your back here. There's like a lot coming in as you are leaving is the energy that I get. Three of Pentacles, Mars and Capricorn. Judgment, Scorpio, and Aries, and the Page of Wands, yeah, Messengers, uh, these are messages here, it's like it's too late to put in the work, it's too late to decide that, that's the energy that I feel here, I feel like you've given someone a chance, okay, and this doesn't even have to be in a romantic situation, you could be a boss, or you could be like a manager, or something of that nature, like you have given a lot of chances, you've made a lot of calls, like you've stuck your neck out for someone here, and they just aren't, um, you know, showing you that it's worth it, right? So yeah, I definitely think that you are making the decision to turn your back on someone or to send them away uh, because they are not giving to a situation is the energy that I feel here. This could be a Scorpio or an Aries, but it's just not getting you anywhere, you know? Uh, you have the lover showing up right here, Gemini energy. Something genuine, what's happening with this? This could be where you're uh, throwing those arrows there. You've got the Two of Cups, yeah. A, a genuine connection. What else is happening with this? Knight of Swords. Somebody overthinking things here. Could definitely be a Gemini because of that Knight of Swords and the Lovers. Somebody could have Venus and Cancer here. Nine of Swords, my goodness. Yeah, look at those swords climbing the wall there. Lots of overthinking, lots of anxiety here. Um, but it feels like a genuine connection, you know? Um, it feels like the both of you know where this could go. What's it, what else is going on here? Ten of Wands. So they're, they're telling me to move over here because that's the Ten of Wands. Um, we have Saturn and Sagittarius here. So this is going to be related to that last card right there. What's going on with this for Sagittarius? Queen of Wands. we got the Queen of Wands down here as well. What's going on with the Queen of Wands? Five of Pentacles. There's somebody here who's just... Like, it's not that you're not genuine, but it's like they have a habit of, um, but I feel like it's because of their past. Like, that's obviously something they're carrying. You've got the Ten of Wands here twice. This could be you as well, but it's like they've never met someone genuine, you know? They, they've never met someone real and true to them. What else is going on with that? Queen of Wands. Like, it's going to take a lot of courage. Like, the Two of Pentacles showing up here, maybe they've been juggled. Maybe they've been in a lot of unstable connections. Um, somebody here could have Jupiter and Capricorn. Eight of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. They're afraid of putting in the work and getting um, deceived, you know? And it's like they understand what, what could happen here. <laughs> they understand what this could come up, uh, which is something really positive, but it's just the uh, small chance that it could come of the Five of Pentacles, right? It's like, what if I get the courage to go for this and I end up abandoned? Or, you know, I end up left alone or cheated on or drained of my money, you know? Uh, what's going on with temperance? Temperance. Wow, yeah, there's definitely something here that's got to be healed within this person because they, they know exactly what this could be, but they're not letting it be that just because of that small chance that this could turn out to be bad. Queen of Cups. We got Cancerian energy there with that. Ten of Cups. Yeah, they know there could be happiness here, and they're overanalyzing it. You got that Queen of Cups. She's looking right at that closed cup right there, okay? It's like they're convincing themselves that that cup is closed, that this door is closed, you know? That could be why you end up leaving this situation here, because they're just not giving to it. They're just not... Um, 
They're not willing to be vulnerable, right? Um, but that Ten of Cups showing up here, some of you, you could already be in a higher level of commitment with this person. Maybe they've been married before and they're like, maybe you want marriage and children and one minute they want that, the next minute they don't, you know? You got the two, uh, the Ten of Pentacles, or <laughs> Ten of Cups right here. That's a card of your um, own personal wish fulfillment, but Seven of Pentacles, you're tired of waiting um, on that. You know, I think it's been promised to you time and again and then somebody takes it back, right? Nine of Wands is Moon in Sagittarius. I don't think that this person has only been lied to in connections. I think they've been lied to by a lot of people, possibly by their mother. Um, you got the Empress showing up here. They definitely have mother issues. Uh, what's going on with the Nine of Wands right here for Sagittarius? Four of Pentacles. And they definitely hold on to that, okay? That's something they've not let go of. Yeah, and it's going to be hard for them to ever do that because I feel like this happened early on in life. This could be a Capricorn for some of you here, Sagittarius. Queen of Swords, maybe a Libra. But I feel like you're showing them a different side of things, but they, like, part of them is still like, what if that's not genuine? What if this is just a facade? Seven of Pentacles, and you're tired of waiting on them to decide what they believe here in this situation. And clarifying this Queen of Wands here, we did have the Five of Pentacles, lack mentality. Um, they're just, you know, they have a very pessimistic view on relationships, love, um, and you know the, um, what would you call it? I guess loyalty. You know, the loyalty of others. And again, it's not even just in relationships, like romantic relationships. It's in all relationships. And I think it stems from family. It's hard for them to commit. King of Cups, even when there's a lot of emotion there. What else is going on here? So they're definitely running from that. King of Swords, maybe even trying to detach from it here. This could be a, a Scorpio or an Aquarius, but yeah, I mean, there's, I honestly don't think there's any hiding from it because they know what you are. You know, there's their spirit, their soul knows. It's like their, their mind is what's getting in the way. What's going on with the Empress? The Moon, Pisces, and Cancer energy. What else is happening here with this? There's a lot of hidden um, struggles here with a mother, okay, or with another feminine energy. This could be someone they were married to um, if it's not a mother, okay? The fool. Yeah, I think that they are digging really deep trying to let go of that here so they can get on with something. The sun, yeah. I mean, the difference in them is going to be like night and day. You got the moon and the sun here once they break free of this. But it's all a matter of like how long, how much longer can you wait, you know? So that's something that I see being a conversation here this week. So, yeah, you're going to decide how you decide. I see this person changing eventually, but it's not clear to me what decision makes that happen, you know, whether you stay or go, which one of those, um, you know, allows that to take place because it's, it's all just going to happen whenever they want it to happen. So that's important to recognize as well. So, yeah. Um, that's pretty heavy stuff, and uh, you're more than welcome to watch out for your other signs, especially if this didn't resonate. Um, these weeklies have been very specific for some reason, but if this is where we part, Sagittarius, thank you for watching and supporting me, and you enjoy your week. Bye.